Hey there, welcome to Rhino Dillo Designs. I'm Robert. Today we're demoing a Chinese imported, really cheap knockoff wheel. Let's get to it. So, unfortunately, my GoPro died before filming this, or right as I was started filming this. So, it's going to be one camera angle, but you should get an idea of how this works. This is about four pounds, three and a half, four pounds of clay. That's average of what I usually throw with, so. Let's see how it works out. Okay. So a couple things to note here. With as much struggle as it gave me with the with the four pounds here, I think that you probably max out at 10, if that. So I'm not seeing throwing over 10 pounds on this wheel, unfortunately. So uh, with the wobble on it and everything though, I probably wouldn't want to. So um, I probably wouldn't go more than 10 pounds on this wheel, um, five. I'm comfortable. I'm, I'm fairly comfortable with it. Now this is a reclaimed clay that uh, my wife reclaimed, so I, I don't know exactly what clay it is. It's, uh, it's very different than what I'm used to working with, so I'm struggling a little bit on that front as well. Uh, one of the other issues that I'm having is that this foot pedal here, it is not as incrementally variable as I thought it would be. So like, that's the lowest setting. That's about midway that speed or there, which is a problem because it's a very short distance from there to full speed. And full speed is not where I want to live. I probably want to live a little bit less than that um, whenever I'm pulling, but that's just, you know, something I'll have to keep in mind with this wheel, I guess. I'm going to see if I can form a cup or bowl or something here um, and just see how it goes and, and bring you along for that. So let's go. simple to pull I mean some of it some of my struggle here is the clay obviously but um, but overall the the wheel is functioning and um, so let me see if I can get that wobble out of the top here I don't have a needle tool so I'll have to improvise with my rib that's an awfully thick wall thinking that I can probably pull a little bit more. Now that I have that wobble out of the top, I may be a little more comfortable with one more pull. It's fairly thin down at the bottom, so I'm not gonna mess with that too much. not actually a level wheel which you run into problems with that all right I'm gonna clean up my hands grab you you can see just the slightest off-center and that's because that plane is not sitting level it's kind of tilted and um, but essentially with a new wheel straight from the factory I would hope that it is level and it's ready to throw on. So obviously with the Chinese wheel, you, I mean, I, I threw a cup, I threw, you know, this, um, it's more of a flower pot than anything, isn't it? But I was able to throw something, right? 
and that sometimes is good enough and for our purposes being able to throw a pot like this um, this big I mean four pounds which is uh, way larger than what you would need for even a simple mug um, it's good enough it's good enough so I think I am surprised at the purchase I would not recommend doing this. I would not recommend getting a Chinese knockoff wheel at all. Um, unless you have no expectations of working very large, um, bigger than, you know, just mugs. <laughs> and if you are okay with the struggle of figuring it out and you, and you, you find yourself pretty handy with things. Um, Cause I'm gonna be doing some repair to this seeing if i can improve it in some way that way we can use it on a regular basis until we can save up enough to get a an actual wheel um <laughs> i say an actual wheel this is an actual wheel but until we can get probably a brent entry level wheel and that way we can throw it home and, and not have any problems there and um you know it, it's good so uh this will probably be my little project and and wheel to work on hannah's probably not gonna I don't know she she may be open to throwing on it we'll see but it's cold right now it's um <laughs> it's freezing it's it's below freezing right now that's why i'm in the garage doing this and and freezing my butt off so i'm gonna end it there thanks for watching um please like this video subscribe if you like content like this um if you like pottery content if you like art content um, we do builds, uh, and right now we're renovating a shop to turn into an art studio and woodworking studio. So uh, that's that's going on right now. We're kind of in the middle of that, and there's videos being released in the future on that. Please subscribe, like it, uh, hit that notification bell if you subscribe. That way you can get notified whenever I release new content. And until next time, I'll see you later.